Hi everyone, I welcome you to Sam Delights Culinary YouTube channel. Bitter good is not bitter anymore. Today we are going to make a bitter good curry Sri Lankan style. If you try this at home, if you follow my recipe and the techniques, you can see a delicious bitter good curry that is not bitter anymore. To see new videos, subscribe to the Sam Delights Culinary channel and press the bell icon alongside the videos. Let's start the process. First, let's see the ingredients. Coconut oil, onion, green chili, chopped and curry leaves. Spices, turmeric, chili powder, ginger powder. And five spices powder, tamarind, salt, cinnamon, and cumin, some chopped garlic, water, coconut milk. We have bitter good cut lengthwise. So, this is the bitter good, you can see it from all sides. I'm showing you how to cut it lengthwise. First, we will have to cut both dates out. And then we have to cut it into two pieces and once again into two more pieces each and clean the seeds. This is how we clean the seeds. Then you can cut it into lengthwise pieces like this. Like this. Start the process. First, I will add some coconut oil. I have added about two tablespoons. Switch on the cooker. We need to lower the flame. Today I am using a hard clay pot. Now I am going to add the aromas. The onion. Green chilli. And the curry beans. And simmer them. For a few seconds. Now I can get a nice aroma. This is the time we are going to add the bitter goat. And mix well. Now we add the cinnamon and the cumin. At this point, I am adding all the spices. First, the five spices curry powder, turmeric, the chili powder. And then ginger powder. At, at this point, I'm going to put some water to the tamarind and add it to the curry. Now everything is well combined. We are not adding the garlic at this point. We will add them later. Add the salt. Some water. Now I'm going to close the pot and let the bitter good cook for, for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now at this point, 
I'm going to see how the curry is. We will add the garlic. And combine well with the bitter goat. Let it cook for a few more minutes until most of the moisture would evaporate. And we are not going to close the pot. Now the bitter goods are well cooked. We are going to add the coconut milk. We will combine everything well. And we will let the coconut milk boil. Now the curry is ready and we will switch off the flame. This is the bitter good curry we made. You can subscribe to my videos and give me a thumbs up.